Mark, obviously brilliant to get the win on Tuesday night, and that clearly is a big boost. But equally, a load of the challenges you had on Tuesday and the difficulties you've had over the past month, they're very much in the picture ahead of the weekend as well. Yeah, a lot of the challenges haven't gone away, but it was a brilliant result and, and performance. Um, and we needed the result. Obviously, league results have been a, a struggle in terms of the, the last month. But the reality is, in the seven-day period before the Wickham game, we played Ipswich and Wickham and won two out of three games. So, um, depending on how long you want to go back in the tone of things, I'd say we're in good form. Um, and it just depends what timeline you want to pick. So, we're delighted with that. We've, we've put in two really good performances there. Tuesday was a really, really strong strong game. It's a place that we've struggled so often and team we've struggled against so often. Um, but it was a real united performance and a deserved result. I thought we had some brilliant chances in the game. There was a period second half where we were outstanding um, and we defended our box brilliantly all night. So everything we needed to be, um, it was. And uh, yeah, it scored us a big three points. So it goes into, sets us up for the weekend nicely. Uh, we can go into this game now with a uh, real good spirit about us and uh, try and um, try and get a result. Yeah, probably. I mean, it, it, we're a very different sort of atmosphere and, and game in, in many ways. But at the same time, um, when you're playing against the top teams away from home, now how difficult that can be. But we've just shown ourselves, really, forget anybody else, we've shown ourselves what, and reminded ourselves what we need to do and, and what good looks like for us. So our intention um, is to try and deliver a, a performance similar to that one, um, full of all the endeavours that we showed and make sure that we've got enough quality within the game to, to turn it in our favour. And I don't know, you may, you may feel this isn't worth too much, but the fact that you've actually experienced this game standing on the terraces, however you want to describe it, we often hear managers talking about giving the players a sense of the occasion. For you, that's really quite straightforward. When it comes to talking about this game, it, it shouldn't be the, the hardest thing in the world. No, I mean, 2001, 1999, I was at those games, so I, I've had some experience of uh, being at them. I, I'm, not sure, um, I'm not sure how much weight that really carries, to be honest. I, I, I tell the lads some boring stories from the past. I think they just think, here he goes again, and want me to shut up and get on with the football. So I, I'm not sure it will carry too much weight, if I'm honest. But um, we've got enough players and enough people that understand what the game means to the club and to the supporters in the end, and... Um, for us, I guess it's about going and playing a, a strong team at the level and delivering a really good level performance. That's, I guess, the fundamental thing. And if the atmosphere, if the occasion can get any more out of us, then happy days because we want to play with that edge and we want to be uh, the best version of ourselves, which we were Tuesday. And the test for us as a team is to go and do it again. With Peterborough, they've been very strong at home. They've been getting the goals, defensive record good as well. What do you make of them as a side? Well, obviously, they're one of the favourites for, for promotion. You can't get away from that. They've talked about it enough themselves that that's what they expect to be doing. Uh, they've invested significant money in their team. And, you know, it's 21 years since we last played. Our journeys couldn't have been too, um, too much further apart than they have been in that period of time. So, um, watched them recently against Forest Green. We've watched them a few times, as we do with everybody in the build-up to the game. Um, and we know that they've got some, some attacking qualities and threats in the team. I mean... Whilst the individual threats of, of teams is obviously different, what you see in the teams in the top half is very similar traits quite often. They've been a high scoring team so far, so that will test our defensive organisation. But we believe there's things we can do that can hurt them as well, and it's important that we bring that to the table. Do you have any mates, Mark? Being a, a I have no mates, Swanee, no. I have no mates. <laughs> No, I don't, no, no. We're Cambridge boys this end, mate. So, uh, no, no Peterborough fans. I think you're the closest. <laughs> if, if, when it comes to, to picking the side, the, the strengths of Tuesday night, there's obviously loads there that you want to take, but equally, such a big performance, the players will have put a lot in. You've got the injury concerns anyway. Is it a bit of a balancing act? I suppose it's always a bit of a balancing act picking the side, but do you have to be mindful of what went into Tuesday night? In normal circumstances, yes, but um, when there aren't so many options in the team, that, that sort of goes out the window. And, and I think what 
this game just demands and the players will give is that physical quality and, and physical level again for as long as they can. So um, we'll be very close to the same team that played on Tuesday and um, the challenge for those players is to go and deliver that same sort of level again because um, it was top performance for us and uh, that's what it will take tomorrow. And with the Knox and Nichols, with Fajiri, how's, how's he got on? Yeah, we're waiting on the outcome of his scan. He won't be available this weekend, so um, we're waiting to see how that settles down. We should know early next week with him. Everybody else came through the game OK. Um, the likes of Sam Smith, Liam O'Neill, Shiloh Tracy that were probably not quite ready to go uh, Tuesday are a little bit closer to being available to play, so they come into our thinking a little bit more this weekend. How's Greg been getting on with his concussion? Yeah, good. He's back in uh, back in training yesterday and tomorrow and uh, today will be fine. So he'll be back involved with us tomorrow as well. And it's been a, a good start for Will Mannion covering for Dimi. I think towards the end of this week you were hoping to have a bit more detail around Dimi and what exactly is going on with his ankle. Have you got that now? Only that we know it's going to be a long time. We certainly won't see him before Christmas. Um, so it's going to be a period of time that he's out for. So. Um, Obviously, he gets to work on his rehab with his uh, on his ankle now. He's still in a boot, walking around, and the swelling's still coming out of that fairly significant ligament injury. So um, we expect to be missing him for a couple of months. But Will's been Will's been great so far. So his his challenge, just like the rest of us, really, is to find the real level of consistency um, in the way in which we played. But he's kept a brilliant goal in the last couple of games. So his challenge is to to keep doing that. Yeah, he's made some excellent saves, he's kept a good goal, he's been composed, his distribution's been good. Um, so I think for anyone, you know, it's like Tuesday night we hit a really good level and we can be pleased and relieved that we've got the result and that performance, but um, the need to do that doesn't disappear. So it's the same with every individual, you have a couple of good games, you've got, you've got to find that level of consistency that uh, allows you to put games together, game on game, on game week on week. So that's the challenge for, for everybody, Will, yes, but everybody else as well, because when we, when we hit that level consistently, we know we can uh, score points at this level. Cool, that's great for me. Hi Mark, just on um, Dimi firstly, how much the setback is that for them to be out for a couple of months? Yeah, I mean look, we are where we are with everybody at the minute, so it's uh, rinse, repeat on these messages. We've got a lot of players missing um, and, and the injuries that we've had are fairly significant to players. So. Uh, we're sort of becoming used to hearing that bad news. One man's bad news is another one's opportunity, so obviously we'll miss Dimmy. He's been an important part for us over the last couple of years, but the chance now is for Will to consolidate a place in the team and, and show that he's able to hit that level consistently. So, um, yeah, we, we, we get on with it because you can't do anything about it now and uh, it's, it's, there's no point complaining about it or, or trying to overemphasise how disappointing things are. You get served the cards you get and you've got to, um, you've got to guilt, deal with it and... Uh, crack on, which I think the mentality last week was outstanding in that sense, so that's what I'm looking for now in the weeks ahead. Is um, Harrison Dunn going to be available at the weekend? Uh, touch and go really, he's, um, he's on the grass again so he becomes a, a bit more of an option, he's certainly getting a lot closer to being able to contribute to the team again, so um, we're, we're hopeful to see him very soon, if not this weekend. When you said about the team selection being quite similar to Tuesday, is that because you want to reward the performance on Tuesday, or is it more down to the injury situation? Uh, both, mate, if I'm honest, yeah, both. Okay, um, in terms of the, the game as well, how big a game is this for the club? Well, how big do you want me to say it is, mate? I don't know how big it is to the club and how big it is to the supporters, I just know what it is to us. It's worth three points, but it's a bit more than that. Uh, people talk about playing games, not occasions. I say play the occasion, that's why we're in it. Um, you want to play in big games, games that matter, good atmospheres, and you want that to bring the best out in yourself. So um, let's go and have a go and see what we can do. And what would it mean to, to you all to, to get a win on Saturday? That doesn't really matter. Um, it would mean three points, that's the only fact. So um, all the emotional squit is for everybody else. We've just got to go and play the game and hopefully get the result. And if we do, I'll tell you what it means afterwards. But until then, um, we know how tough a game it will be and um, we've got to be ready for a for a proper scrap and a proper game. It'll be, a, be an epic atmosphere um, and I'm absolutely buzzing, I can't wait for it. That's good. Just on that atmosphere, obviously, you can have 2,200, maybe a little bit more United fans supporting you on the day. Um, 
how good is it to have that back in and what difference can they make? Yeah, I mean, we'd have had more if we could have done. We've taken big numbers to Ipswich. Um, we've taken big numbers to the, those local games before and obviously the biggest games that we've had, we've had some, some brilliant support. So hopefully everyone can have a good day. But in the end, the day, the quality of the day is usually guided by the result and the performance. So that's our responsibility to look after that and uh, everybody else is responsible for enjoying themselves and having a good time. But um, hopefully we get real good voice and real good energy behind the team um, because it will, it will be a an atmosphere much bigger than the other atmospheres have been at Peterborough. I've been there a few times recently and it hasn't really been one, so it will certainly be a lot bigger this time around uh, from the home fans and, and our lot will give as good as they get in that sense. So hopefully that drives our players on to a really high level. Thanks, Mark. Mark, just one for me. Um, you know, you talk about the lead-up to the Wickham game. Uh, I know your squad quite confident and Oh yeah, I mean, anyone lies if they tell you that they're not, they're not influenced and affected by bad results and, and bad form. There's no, no question. Um, you carry the weight of those and the more that when you, if you're on a bad run or a good run, the, the weight of those games can sort of snowball into the next game. So there's no, there's no question. Um, and sometimes that can show itself in so many different ways. That can show itself in a lack of risk taking on the pitch, uh, body language, a little bit in communication, teams can go quiet, uh, the work ethic can dip. Um, and that is all probably driven by that little anxiety, performance anxiety or lack of confidence going into games. That, that is no doubt. So I think in a moment when you can be in that position and pull out that sort of performance Tuesday, is huge credit to the players because in the end they're the ones that have done that. Um, and, and that has to give us our little uh, reminder of, right, this is what good looks like for us. And that gives you, the, gives you the confidence next time if you're in a bad run that you, can, you know you can get out of it. And it also gives you the sort of ingredients to what it takes to, to win again. It just gives you that constant reminder. We've won a lot of games in the last few years. And, and these spells where it's tough are, are brilliant spells to build resilience and, and build character as players in a team. And hopefully that serves us well as we go ahead. We know we've got a, a tough season ahead, some really tough games to come. Um, but none more so than tomorrow's, but it's one that we can go into off the back of that sort of weight lifted off our shoulders and, and go and have a right go.